What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be doing Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 1, because I finished the original one in. I'm doing this the old fashioned way because, well, the live stream, it could not, it, um, it had issues connecting to the server and all that jazz. So yeah, if you have not seen season one, check that out before you watch this video because this is gonna have a lot to do with the other one who didn't see it. This game sees the depths of choice you make. This story is tailored by how you play. I, I always like this. stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever Oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Lucas voice changed. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> it's all fair game if it's helping you to tell a good story. It's not like you're lying to, like, trick anyone. Yeah. See, that's exactly what I thought. If you're planning on including schematics, we should talk, though. I think I'm okay. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but, uh, next year. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For, uh, most of it, anyway. Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Yes. Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right-o, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah, uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Guys, we're supposed to be a team here. It's our adventure night. Sorry, Jesse. It's just that things are different now. You got your life, and we got ours. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see okay. how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, so freaking cute. I've worn Harper. 
So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would have loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. I am going to see you all again. Same time next week. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! Bacon. Oh, Beacon Town. I thought you said Bacon Town. It was like. <laughs> adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I really do love this place, and it just keeps getting cooler. Right? I love it, too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll okay. keep that in mind. about that. The statue, no one cares about that. That's an octopus, no one cares about that. Oh, I can run. Jesse, dude! Now, I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Let like everybody that. be themselves. Super individualistic house over there that looks like a squid. Righteous. The house? Between you and me, I am worried that I won't like fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make like a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Sure. Back to the spamming. Ah, uh, a blank <laughs> canvas. know what I'm doing.
That is some sweet work. Nice. Smiley face. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo. And do be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the mine shaft. Mm hmm. Now I know where the mine shaft is. It's this way. Fun. I saw her. Whoa! Know. Wink, get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. I'm gonna pet him. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, uh -uh, see? He likes you. <laughs> uh, yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Yeah. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Did anybody hear the Yeah, fun? what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. One. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Of course. I wish we could have helped a couple more people get ready. Welcome to Beacon Town. I mean, Founding Day is all about how you took down the Wither Storm and all. I'll uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Yeah. Don't I always? Forgot his name for some reason. Classic. Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra, where are you? Oh, stupid zombie. Oh, I miss this. <coughs> oh, smell not so much. that punctual and kicking butt nice. hey to you too petra <laughs> hey glad to see you remember how to use your sword i was worried you'd gotten rusty i can't even imagine that life managing people signing papers Ugh. i really do miss this you know us adventuring together facing the unknown wish we could do this more often except i'm gonna have a hard time being seen with someone wearing such dingy armor what is that? Iron? Oh. Didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? Oh. And look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... Ready for more? Where go? <laughs> <laughs> Too slow, zombies. Typical. 
Jesse. That? I say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. I know you enjoy your job or whatever. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. Oh, come on. You know you're more important to me than all of them. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me. Sure. But, uh... Can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas. His writing, I figured. Man, my friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying, I don't care how good Lucas's next book is, it's not exactly slaying a wither storm, you know? Well, that's a little harsh. They've just got their own lives now, I get it. Well, I don't. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. You don't have your what own life What exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me. It's important. What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? It's monster hunting time! That's nice. What's up? Good to see ya. Oh, perfect. I'm starving. Everyone deep. get down! It's gonna blow! <laughs> huh. Woo! All right. Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Ah, look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're chasing? Nope. The mystery is what makes it fun. Come on! Okay. Sure. than I remember. <laughs> you were so supposed right. to lose. Everybody knows I'm faster than you. Hey, I'm surprised as you are. I'm just glad I've still got it. <laughs> Guess I didn't have anything to worry about after all. 
Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. Here I come, mystery monster. Probably gonna be a llama. I knew llama? it. A llama? Awesome! We found it! Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like a uh, treasure sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Please, just trust me. Sassy. We just need to bring her back to her owner. Why all this secrecy? Are you okay? I'll tell you about it later, okay? But I appreciate you worrying about me. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? All right. Uh, hey there, llama. Come here, girl. Good llama. What you get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. Just grab the. <laughs> that one strong llama. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, gross. Armor-wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Oh yeah, sure. Oh yeah, because I have to craft the other one. Here, llama, llama, llama. Where'd you go? After you, Mayor Jesse. Told you I'm not the mayor. I'm the leader and hero in residence. I know, I know. That's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call Why do torches not work like this in actual Minecraft? Yeah. How the heck did you get up there? Who knows, but it's coming down now. Find out. What was that creepy whisper? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like it's made out of prismarine. Oh. A prismarine? But you only find that at the bottom of the ocean. It, it, it seems 
seems like it's not hurting you, and that's good. Yes, it uh, looks kinda... Okay, actually, it looks really cool. Petra, gotta tell you, I am freaking out here. It's gonna be okay. It'll be okay. We'll figure it out. Ah! Well, uh, here. I'll help you take it off. So the time for two minutes. Okay. Ow. Wow. Stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that gauntlet. Like, maybe it was your destiny or something. I hope it's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? Yeah. Until you die. Which isn't what's happening here. I hope. Uh oh Get off the pyramid, quick! leave something like this exposed, we, we should cover it up. Yeah, agreed. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way we came, though. Yeah, about that. There, come on. Hmm. Perfect. That is where I'm gonna end this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!